We're going to start with a meditation. So find your comfortable seat. I recommend sitting on a block. And decide if you need energy for today or grounding. If it's energy you need, allow your palms to face up. If it's some extra calm and grounding, palms face down in your lap. And then together we take a big breath in through the nose. Sigh it out of the mouth. Two more times just like that. Letting your breath fill your body from bottom of your belly all the way up to the chest. And then letting go top to bottom. And then start to sink in here. And as you do, allow your shoulders to melt down your back. Your chin gently drops to your chest, just enough to lengthen the back of your neck. Notice as you start to relax more and more fully into this moment, into your body. Finding that natural breath in and out of the nose. Allowing the muscles around your face to begin to relax. The muscles around your belly and your chest to relax. So either your breath can enter those spaces with ease. And then we'll find that counting of the breath. And I'll guide you through the first rounds of, of counting and then you'll be on your own. So each inhale and exhale is one count. And I'd like you to notice where you feel that breath. Maybe it's in your belly, rising and falling. Maybe it's in the, the coolness of the breath as it enters the nasal passage and the warmth as it exits. Maybe it's your chest or somewhere else. So notice where you feel it and pay attention to that one space. That is your anchor. And then we'll start counting. So we inhale. Exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, make your way on up to 10. And when you get to 10, you'll just start right back at one. If you lose track of the breath or of the count, no worries, no need to judge your wandering mind. Just notice that you've lost it and come back, just starting right back at one. As you're breathing and you're counting, just noticing how it feels just to be in your body in this way. Can you relax even more fully into the body? And then start to release the count and just notice your breath. Notice your state of mind. Maybe inquiring if it's a little bit more quiet, more silent. 
more centered than when you first walked in. And then bring your hands to your heart and start to rub them together, creating heat between the palms. So really pressing the hands and rubbing fast. And then find a space on your body that could use a little bit of extra care and love this morning, maybe over your eyes, over your chest or your shoulders and place them there. Just take a few really big breaths. Good, and release your hands, open your eyes, and we'll come to a stand at the top of your mat. Start our music. So Tadasana, palms by your side. Allow your toes to turn in slightly. You're a little bit pigeon-toed and start to allow your palms to open by your side. Allow your shoulder blades to melt down your back and start to press your feet down into the earth as you lift your toes and spread them wide. As you press your feet down, slight bend of the knees and release the toes. Allow the crown of your head to lift up towards the sky. Take a big breath in from your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. Hold it at the top. And then let it go top to bottom. All the way out, pause at the bottom. Inhale, bottom to top. Hold it at the top. Sip in a little bit more air. And then let it go. One more time, just like that, finding those pauses. Good. Clasp your hands behind your head and spread your feet a little bit wider. And again, just look down at your feet, check that your toes are turned in and press the back of your head into your hand. As you open your elbows, you'll feel that slight back bend. So adjust as you need to support your low back. Pull your navel into the spine. So you're pressing your hands into your head just as much as you're pressing your head into your hand. Take a breath in. On your exhale, pull your elbows in towards your hands, round your back, tuck your chin into your chest. Nice, y'all, we'll do that again. Inhale, lift up, pressing the back of the head into the hands as you open your heart. And then exhale, round through the spine, chin pulls into the chest. Do that for three more rounds. Keep a nice bend in your knees to allow release from the hips as you round. Nice, yeah, moving with your breath. Your breath, your pace, pausing in those spaces at the top and bottom. And then next time you rise up, release your arms and open them by the side of your ears. Big breath in, lifting up and back. And then exhale, bow forward from the hips. Bring your hands to opposite elbows and just gently sway side to side. Continue to press the soles of your feet into the mat as you lift your hips up to the sky. Next time you're, you're shifting to the right, stay there, feeling that nice stretch in your left side, looking under your left armpit. And exhale back to center and over to the left. So exaggerate that shift. Look under your right armpit, big breath in. Exhale back to center. Release the hands, bend the knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time, arms and head heavy. 
and then arms lift up. Lift your gaze to your hands as you place them together. One more time, open your arms, and this time we cactus them at the top, bending the elbows, shoulder blades squeezing together. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, we bow, hinging from the hips, bend from the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, grab your block, press your hands into that block at the highest position, tying your shoulder blades together. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly rise up. These are our half sun salutation aids. We're gonna do that one more time. Cactus the arms at the top, slight back bend, maybe looking up or back. Inhale, exhale, bow. Halfway lift, pressing into your block, finding length through your spine. Exhale, fold. Slowly rise up. Cactusing those arms. Inhale. Exhale and we bow. Halfway lift, plant your hands, step your left foot back. Step your right foot back. We'll lower our knees so we have a supported low plank. Check that your hands are under your shoulders. Your hips are slightly shifted forward. So you're like a, like a slide from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, we'll lower chin to chest. Back arch, butt stays up in the air. Pull the elbows in towards each other. Looking at the front of your mat. Breathe in. Exhale, lower to your belly. Forehead to the ground. And we'll press in for a baby cobra. Bend at the elbows. You can stay here. You can see about lifting your hands up, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Gazing down, breathing in. Exhale to lower. We'll bend our knees, finding a child's pose. Hips back towards the feet, big toes together, knees apart. And then gently sway side to side. Feeling that nice massage on your third eye. Feeling that opening around your hips and all down your spine. And then find your tabletop. We'll make our way through a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale and round chin to chest. You can continue in this traditional, or if there's any organic movement that you want, maybe shifting your hips back as you're, as you're rounded, maybe shifting side to side, or finding some barrel rolls, those circles of the hips. Any of that is welcome now. Just listening to your body, recognizing what you need and taking it without overthinking. Breathing in and out of your nose. And then back to center, we'll tuck our toes, lift your hips up and back, down dog. Lift up onto your toes, lifting your heels on the inhale. Exhale, heels back down towards the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release the heels. One more time, lift. Look forward, tiptoe as slow as possible, feet to the hands. You can grab your block or you can lift up halfway and just press into the shins, yogi's choice. And then exhale, fold. We'll take our peace fingers around our big toes. Spread your, you might need to spread your feet a little bit wider for that. And then with bend of the knees, halfway rise again, keeping that bind, looking slightly forward. And then exhale, forward fold, letting your elbows drop side to side. Allowing your chin to drop to your chest. Pressing into the feet as you lift your hips up towards the sky. One more breath.
Go ahead and then release the bind, rise up. Arms lift up and back, we find that cactus again. Inhale, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, plant your hands, step the right foot back, the left foot back. We're in that low plank again, knees are down. Hands under the shoulders, breathe in. Exhale, lower chest, chin, elbows pulling into the body. Breathe in. Exhale all the way to the belly. We find that baby cobra, or you can press your hand, press into your hand, straighten the elbows for a full cobra. Wherever you are, turn your gaze so that it's over the right shoulder. Breathe in. Out, back to the center and over to the left. And then back to the center, slowly lower. And again, we find that child's pose, hips back towards the feet, swaying side to side. Let's walk our hands to the right, stacking your left hand on top of your right. Thinking about lengthening that left arm to be a little bit longer than your right. So you sink your left hip towards the feet. One more big breath in. You might walk it a little bit deeper on your exhale. Good, and then back to center and over to the left. How good can you allow this to feel? This stretch, this breath, and then the next, and the next. Throughout your practice and throughout your day. How good can it feel? How enjoyable can it be? Back to the center, finding that tabletop. Tucking the toes, hips up and back, down dog. Big breath in and out. Walk both feet into the center of your mat so your feet are touching. Lift your right leg up. Keep the right leg straight, but turn your right toes into the center. So it's an internal rotation. Notice how you feel that stretch in your left hamstring. Yeah, y'all feel that? Yeah. Now keep that right leg straight but start to stack the right hip over, over the left hip. There you go, May. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do that again. Shifting so that your hips are squared off so that you find that internal rotation, right toes turning in. Notice that sensation. And then open it up, stacking hip. Good, and the next time your hips are stacked, bend and straighten that knee. Pressing into your right hand so you're not putting too much pressure into the left shoulder. Good, Marianne, nice. Good, and then back to center, inhale. Exhale, we'll just step that right foot forward into a low lunge. Grab your blocks, actually. Does everybody have two? Now you do. <laughs> so a block under either hand. So Kara, you're watching on, on video. Um, I have imaginary blocks under my hands. <laughs> Those back toes can be tucked or your foot can be flat. And just get yourself supported. Check that your right knee is over your right knee over ankle. So you're not overextending in that knee. Good, and then go ahead and untuck your toes so that that back foot is flat. Lift your hands to your thigh. Start to press the top of your back foot into the mat. You're gonna feel that more into your hip flexor quads. Yep. <laughs> and then lift your arms up. Take your right hand around your left wrist. You're gonna fold to the right. So you feel that nice stretch along the left side. Your gaze can be down, maybe forward or up. Play with the different positions of the neck to see what feels most natural to you today. What allows you to get the fullest experience here. Go ahead, rise up. Lengthen through the spine, shifting the crown of your head up to the sky. 
And we're going to twist to the right. If you've never done this twist in this position, it could be a little bit awkward. Steady your gaze. It's going to help you to keep your balance. Take a breath in and out. Bring that back hand to the back thigh, maybe to the low back. Lift the left arm up. Yeah. So revolved, peaceful warrior. Breathing into that left side, the left obliques. I've been loving this one these days. I did a big oblique workout on Sunday and I've been so sore from it all week. Take a big breath in. And on your exhale, cartwheel your hands down to those blocks. Shift your hips back towards your back foot. You might walk your blocks back depending on how tight your hamstrings are, maybe to your knee. And then lengthen the spine. So press forward through your chest, breathe in. Exhale, we're gonna round or we're gonna, um, we're gonna slowly release chest and then head. It's kind of like a cobra flow and then rounding your way back up. Inhale. Exhale as you drop down towards that leg. Inhale as you lift up. Go ahead one more time. Go ahead and then shift forward. Plant your hands. Step back to a high plank this time. And I'm not going to make you chaturanga. No worries. But just let's hold our high plank for three. And we'll shift forward and back. Pull your ribs together, pull your navel into the spine. Good, right, and then we find that down dog. Take one breath in, and then sigh it out of the mouth. Walk your feet into the center. Lift that left foot up and turn your toes in. It's that internal rotation. I lose my AirPod there. Notice how you feel, where you feel the sensation. And then keep that knee straight as you start to stack your left hip on top of right. Now notice where you feel it. We'll do that again. Shift the hip so that you're internally rotated. Breathe in. Exhale, stacking that hip. Now that you're stacked, bend and straighten that knee and start to press into your left hand. You might notice the difference in sensation as when you flex your foot compared to when you point your foot. I always like it more when I point. Some people like a flex. We'll come back to center. Breathe in. Exhale, shifting that leg forward, stepping through. We find that low lunge, starting to support yourself with your hands on blocks, checking that that front knee is over, or that front knee is over the ankle. And then lifting the hands up to the thigh. Steady breath, steady gaze. Untuck your back toes and starting to press the top of your foot into the mat. Nice mat, as you did that, I saw you lift up. <laughs> that was beautiful. And you can start to lift your arms along your ears. Continue to keep pressing that, the back of the foot into the mat. Left hand to the right wrist as you shift over to the left. And then again, playing with the position of the gaze, what feels most supportive to not only your body, but also your mental state and energy right now. Sometimes I love looking up, but today it feels better, more natural to look down. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, we twist to the left. Continue to lift up through your spine, like you have a string at the crown of your head guiding you up. Breathe in. Exhale, back hand to the back thigh, or maybe just to the low back as you reach your right arm up along your ear. Continue to shift forward, guiding that front knee towards the toes. Breathe in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the blocks. Shift your hips back to the foot. And then find that ideal position of your hands. 
chest is guiding towards the foot, guiding towards those left toes. Breathe in. Exhale, we round our spine, leading with the heart rather than the head. Inhale, slowly rise up. Exhale to drop into it. One more full round. All right, and then inhale, we shift forward, planting our hands, step back one more time, high plank. So gripping the mat with your fingertips to take the pressure out of the wrist as you shift forward and back. Engaging the muscles of the legs, engaging the core to keep yourself light. Good, and then lower your knees, child's pose. start to bring it down taking your left right arm up you're just going to drape it under your left that right palm lifting up the left can stay just where it is or you might wrap it around pressing your left hand on your low back or maybe tucking it in between the thigh like that crease where the thigh meets your belly Breathing into that right shoulder. Two more breaths. Go ahead and impress into your left hand as you lift your right arm up and just draw some circles with that right hand. And then the other direction. All right, and we'll just move into the other side, left arm up, and drape it under the right. And let your left cheek rest on your, your mat, or if that doesn't feel easy, if that doesn't feel comfortable, place a block or pillow under your cheek. And decide what you want to do with that right hand. It can stay where it is, or maybe it comes to the low back, or wraps all the way around the fingertips making their way into that crease. Invite yourself to soften here. And release that right hand, press into it as you lift the left arm up and draw some circles with your hand. Opening that wrist, other direction. Exhale, release it down and we'll walk our way forward into puppy pose. Hips over the knees, your chin, your forehead can come to the ground or maybe chin to chest as you look forward. So my tendency often here is to just let my belly splay out. Let's all pull our navel towards our spine, protecting our back as we find this back bend. One more breath. Good, walk your hands back under your shoulders, press yourself up and we'll come onto our back, finding your strap. You don't have a strap, yes you do, no. Are you sure? Okay. Have you used this before? Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna come to our back. Let's see, turn this down a little bit. And you're gonna take your strap under your right heel. So the tendency often people wanna place it like right in their arch. I want you to place it at the bottom of your arch rather than the center, so towards the heel. So the, and then start to press into the strap, almost like you're trying to break it with that foot. So I love these stretches with the strap. It's such an amazing way to release the leg from the hip socket. And there are many subtle little cues. So it always requires good listening. So start to turn your toes out towards the right shoulder. So you're externally rotating that leg. 
It's not so important that your knee is bent, but do continue thinking about pressing your heel in towards the strap, relaxing your shoulders down your back. And then I find that people often hold their breath here. So see if you can breathe a little bit more fully, maybe even lengthening the breath. One more big inhale. Bring the strap into your right hand, heavy the left hip. I like to bend my left knee and let it fall to the left as you open your right leg out to the side. Continuing to press through that heel. You should feel that big stretch on the inside of the leg. Continuing through the hamstring. But if you're letting that left hip stay rooted, you're most likely not going to be over stretching. If you find that it's too much, just lighten up on it. Lift that right leg up a little bit. Big breath in. Big breath out. And then inhale, come to center. We're going to take the strap in your left hand now. Press into your left foot to slightly shift your hips to the right side of your mat. There you go. Mm -hmm. You're just going to drop that leg across the body, keeping the right shoulder heavy. So it's not about how far that leg comes across, but we're finding a twist through our navel, hence that right shoulder heavy. We're helping to open through our, our glutes and our IT band. So here, as you press through the heel, this time, think about shifting your big toes down because you only have one big toe on that foot. So shift your big toe down. Yeah, and you'll notice as you do that that you feel it a little bit more on the outside of your leg. And if you want to get a stretch on that right shoulder, extend your right arm so your hand is in line with your shoulder. And then flip your palm face down. If that doesn't feel so great, maybe too intense, then adjust it to your liking. Big breath in. Sigh it out. Don't look like you're enjoying it. Let's do one more. Find on this side on the, the hip opening. I never want to get out of it. Next inhale, slowly rise up. Release the strap and extend both legs by your side. Let your feet, let your legs just completely relax, kind of just a momentary shavasana position as you notice the difference between your right and your left side. So scan down from your hips to your knees to your feet. If you were standing and I had you take a balanced position, you would feel much more balanced and supported on your right side than your left. So we'll do the other side, taking your strap under your left heel. And then wrap your hands around the strap so that you're not having to grip so much. Soften your shoulders as you start to press the heel in towards the strap. And again, it's not so important, so much important about how far back that leg comes, if anything. We want to focus. The, about shifting the hip forward towards the right foot. And that's what's going to continue to help to release that leg. Checking in with your breath, in and out of the nose, maybe a few exhales, sighing out of the mouth. Breathe in. Strap in the left hand, having that right hip, <clears throat> open leg out to the left. Pressing through the heel. And it might be uncomfortable, but see if you can still soften your face. So the muscles around your face are not needed to open through your hips and your legs. 
Breathe in. And out. All right, inhale back to center. Strap in the right hand, press into the right foot, shift the hips to the left. That leg wraps all the way across the body. Left shoulder heavy. Hand in line with the shoulder, palm up or down, depending on the stretch intensity that you want. And then for a moment, look at that left foot, shift the big toe down to the ground. And then gaze comes up or maybe to the left. Two more full breaths. Nice, y'all. Back to the center. Release the strap. Release the leg. And it is time for final rest. So make yourself comfortable. You might place a block under either knee in the flattest position. Beautiful way to release the low back. Palms by your side or maybe resting on your belly. Take a big breath in. Let it go. Dropping in more fully to your body, to this moment, with each cycle of breath.
you start to come back to your breath and come back to some gentle movements. <clears throat> I'm going to share a poem with you about arrival. It's called As Ripeness Come from my favorite poet, Rumi. What soul's desire arrives. We are standing up to our necks in the sacred pool. Majesty is here. The grains of the earth taken something they do not understand. Where did this come from? It comes from where your longing comes. From which direction? As ripeness comes to fruit. This answer lights a candle in the chest of anyone who hears. Most people only look for the way when they hurt. Pain is a fine path to the unknowable. But today is different. Today, the quality we call splendor puts on human clothes, walks through the door, closes it behind, and sits down with us in this companionship. Extend your arms along the ears. Big body stretch. And roll over to your right side, finding a fetal position. Knees pulling up to the chest, arms supporting your head. Notice the state of arrival. Notice what it feels like to be in your body, in your mind, in your state of peace and calm. Pressing yourself up, bringing your hands to your heart, Anjali Mudra. A gesture of gratitude. I honor that place within each of you where the whole universe dwells. And I honor that place within me. When you are in that place and I am in that place, we are one. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for. Not only your practice, but sharing your energy with one another. It's been an, such an honor to teach all of you. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you.